this now? I hate when they are disturbing me all my life. Good evening, everybody. Oh, no, bless I pack my hair. Please help me share, share, tag, invite. Okay. Who they call me? Ah, my bed. Turn me around, make me wanna dance. Even when I know one dance, my body go I, oh my god. I don't understand why some people don't understand. If person they caught call, it means the person is busy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait till you don't do my Martin of Itokamo. Please help me share, tag, invite somebody. Today's topic is interesting though, so share the video, all right? <laughs> Thank you. Now see the head. Now me grab myself. Oh, I have to do something. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sister Sonia. Thank you. That's it. Thank you so much. Please help me share so somebody would learn from this. All right, Sister Sam, I see you. Good evening, Bros. Brosike, I didn't see you here too. <laughs> now, for those people that are supposed to call me, please, uh, I'm live. All right, when I'm done with the live video, I'll get back to you. All right, Sister Imama too. Hmm? A good night of the loving. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Wait till you don't do my Martin no fee talker. Are they happy? In fact, today I'm so happy. All this pregnancy news spreading everywhere. Like, what? I'm telling you. Make me wanna dance. My body go they move me. Turn me around. Make me wanna dance. Mm -hmm. Right, make I reduce this volume, please, please, please tag, share, invite. Because you see, this topic here, I know what you want today, but I had to because a lot of people are passing through hell, as in hell, a lot of women. Hey, don't worry, eh? Mm? Mm? Okay, what we have music. Good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for joining in. If it's the first time of you joining this video, please don't forget to click on the follow button so you can um, see us when we go live. Because right now, tell you what, I don't even get time after they go. As in, I just they go like this because anytime I get a small five minutes after they jump live. All right. So please, please, please also share the video because this topic today it's something that has been affecting a lot of marriages like a lot of couples you understand and also a lot of men like they go outside and they say oh, and their wife no they do this their wife no they do that tell you what this topic is not only for women but also for men men self go learn at least they go know how to give their wife space they go understand what they happen to their wife with their wife you know they feel that urge to make love all right so anyway for people who are just joining the topic of today is what causes you not to feel sexually attracted to your husband or not to have that sex urge all right when after you've given birth it happens anybody way don't burn it is normal that you feel as if you are not in the mood. You know, a lot of men will feel like, eh, now you'll be the first person to burn. Now you'll be the first person to, 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 to do CS. Or now you'll be the first person to give vagina birth. Eh, what to make you know they feel like? You know, a lot of African men even cheat on their wife. They go, go outside. Say, my wife, you know, they give me again. I make me know they, I make me they go outside. They put the blame on the women. But tell you what, this thing is not normal. It's a medical problem. It's not like the woman is the one controlling her body. But something is controlling her. What is that thing? That's the hormone. See, let me, let me put it like this because I want everybody to understand. You see, a lot of women give birth 
naturally. Some, they do CS. And most of them, after giving birth, let's say one month, two months, three months, you don't boil. If you do CS, I'll tell you something, you wait for 30 days, right? You have 30 days to wait before you have sex. If you do natural birth, depending on the kind of natural birth where you do, some people wait, say they do some natural birth, the bikini too big, they will say, okay, maybe they cut a little bit of the clitoris just to make sure the bikini head come outside, right? But all these things, the natural birth or the CS, there's something that changes in your body the minute you give birth. That thing that makes your vagina uh, feel wet. See, may I tell you, it's not about you ovulating. It is not about you seeing your menstruation after you're born. No be about that one. You know, before some people gonna notice that before they give, before they, they born, that they like to meet their husband, they like to have sex, they like to um uh you know make love anywhere. If the husband says, Oh yeah, come, you will say, Okay, what could do the thing? Or some women said that they go meet their husband when they did on that ovulation. You know, a lot of women during their ovulation period they feel that sexual arousement. That is after their menstruation. They feel as if the thing they wet. Some people go there, but they do them. Turn, 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 turn. Bless the sugar, they sweet them. Now, yes, it happens, all right? But even if you don't demonstrate after you don't born, seen a CS or a natural vagina birth, you do. Something changes. And what is that? That is your hormone. The minute a woman put to bed, there is something they call estrogen level. That's part of your hormone that drops. Why does it drop? Because of your prolactin. Your prolactin might be that thing where they bring breast milk where they feed your picking. A lot of women, even when they know they breastfeed picking, where that water they come out from their breast, they, feed, they, they start saying, ah, I don't, my vagina is very dry. I don't get that urge or I don't get wet when I meet my husband. Prolactin level brings down your estrogen. And when it brings down your estrogen, that thing that releases when your husband is like, coming close to you, that thing that makes your vagina become that fluid, it will stop. That thing will stop. And that's why I tell a lot of women, the minute you put to bed, be it CS, be it vagina bed, anyone will you do, the minute you put to bed, balance your hormone. Bring the hormone back to place. You see, this kind of problem, they affect some women, maybe say, if they don't come balance their hormone, they leave them. Before they reach 30 years, their vagina don't dry. Some people might even be seeing that cervical mucus before they give birth. Which means during your ovulation, you see that stretchy thing before you born. But the minute you don't born finish, that thing just, boom, you don't see again. Why? Because of your estrogen level. Because of that thing where, where the increase, where, where suppose they on the increased size, but rather it comes down. You see, this estrogen level is the same thing that makes you get pregnant. A lot of women, after giving birth to one or two, the third one, I can't problem. They go start to they find how to get belay. Young girls, so they say they just born, maybe you just born one. Before you know, you say, why the second one they had? What did they happen? Why did you know they come outside? What did I do? It is your hormones. It is what you feed yourself. You see, when my born finish, it go be like, see your belly open. All right? Everything where you see now, you go to chop. Especially people where they breastfeed, they're going to use the excuse of breastfeeding. I'm breastfeeding, no, that's why I'm eating anyhow. I'm breastfeeding, no, that's why I'm doing this. If you don't put your hormone into place, this thing will be your body 40 years. Vagina dryness. And the minute your vagina get dry, know that you have tendency for infection. You know, some women know the day in the mood before their husband will say, come here. Come here, Moku, do this thing. Moku, start now. If you force yourself, do them. Say, you know, let your body heal. You go force yourself, do them. Especially those people maybe say they're caught because it became too big. Maybe they caught a little bit of your vagina. You force yourself to do it. They are tender for you to have infection infection like you know some kind of infection they will be say if it be just candida or a little bit of candidiasis maybe toilet infection or something but if you don't come treat them maybe the, the thing they your body you know no you know treat them the thing can actually move in and cause you tube blockage and that is why some women after the bone will finish they'll say hey, i've given birth before but when i went to the hospital they tell me i have tube blockage why 
Because you left your body the way it is before. You did not balance your hormone. And the next thing you do is jump, start looking for a way to get pregnant. See, my thing I want to. Women will be saying maybe they go hospital, they never do hormone imbalance, and you go pelvic scan, which means a, a scan, a normal scan or abdominal scan. You go do that scan. If I, no, nothing is wrong with you. You're just perfect. See, my thing I want to. Prolactin causes primary infertility. Prolactin can be your contraceptive. That's in way they hold some people not to burn. Prolactin can be something that can that you use in giving gap to your children. It happens to some women, not all, but 90% of women, it happens to them. If you don't treat that prolactin, you're going to carry yourself the waka. I don't know what is wrong with me. I am not giving birth. I am not getting pregnant. You just carry yourself the waka like that without knowing that. That breastfeeding, when you breastfeed that begin, you got to bring your hormone doing back to the way it is. You got to bring your hormone back to the way it is before you had your first child. You see, a lot of women maybe say they don't bought one, two, three. They say, I've had three children though. Maybe not be with that husband. I've had three children. I don't know why another one is not coming. You had the grace of balancing your hormone after the first one. You had the grace of balancing your hormone after the second one. You had the grace of balancing your hormone after the third one, but you did not do it. And that is why it's become even more critical. Hormone, they take 30 days to regularize you. Uh, 90 days, sorry. Every 90 days, which is three months, it regularizes. It takes 30 days for your skin to start showing and 90 days for your hormones to regularize. That's why some women, when they don't burn, they say, please stay away from sex. Do this. You know, women, when they burn naturally. Me, I did not give birth naturally. I, I give birth through CS. It's because I love it, not because I had any complication, but because I love it. I don't want to, you know, push. Another thing that can cause you not to have that fling for sex is when your vagina has become wide. That elastic way they make your vagina, they close, when you don't open. And it's normal. For women who give birth natural birth, it's normal. That sometimes the elastic in your vagina become weak. This kind of women, the minute they go bathroom, all right, or maybe they, they don't even go bathroom, you go sit down for, for cheer before you know what time will just come up for your body. You go be like, say you piss for body. It will be as if you pee on your body. Why? Because that thing that holds your vagina together, that's the way, that, you know, when you want pee, the minute you want pee, if you know, if maybe person there bathroom or you don't want to go, you go test that whole life, you go use your body, you go hold up, you go do that, I beg, make good day bathroom, make it come outside. A lot of women cannot hold their pee. A lot of women cannot. And they suffer for it till they get to 40. Women who don't uh, put their, their body into place, they tend to have menopausal symptoms fast. If you be a woman, you don't burn, you don't balance your hormone. And you reach 40 years, then you go test, the time you say you get menopause. You start to ask yourself, ah, menopause is not supposed to worry me. My sister is still menstruate. My, 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 my mother is still menstruate at 50 years. Matter tell you one thing, you don't be your mama. Body different. You are not your sister, neither are you your mother. If you don't get yourself back in track, now wahala. Now, problem, not be say 40 years old woman, not they born. It's not that. It's not that 40 years cannot get pregnant. It's not that 47 years cannot get pregnant. Medically, a menopause is supposed to start at 50 years, but your own good is start at 40 years. Think about it. What are the things I am not doing? What are the things that, that I did that, that I stopped doing? Or maybe what are the things I'm supposed to do that I did not do after giving birth? What are those things? Remember, your hormones, you need to eat at least 15 portions of fruits and vegetables per day. Not until they go to that hospital, go they take injection. Because a lot of people depend on that synthetic. They will, I have to go to the hospital. Hey, they gave me this. Hey, my doctor said, I can't take this hormone imbalance injection. When you take the hormone imbalance injection, you don't get belly. Since when you take them, have you gotten pregnant? Or has the vaginal dryness stopped? If 
if you have a dry vagina, the urge for sex will not be there. It will not be there. Nothing will move you. Because tell you what, your menstruation works with your progesterone. Your ovulation, it will work with your estrogen. Your, your body, your uh, follicles, now from your FSH, if you don't bring all those things back, you will suffer. If you don't suffer now, you will suffer in the future. A lot of people, their, their body has not even scattered like that after birth. Their body never scatterish like that. But because they don't chop what they're supposed to chop, because they don't do what they're supposed to do, they just do it in, the thing became worse. If you finish giving birth, you know, I, I know a lot of people, a lot of my followers just give birth this time. All right, I know a lot of people uh, gave birth this time, a lot of our followers, and I'm super happy. I'm so excited. Listen, if you just give birth, do one thing put your hormones in place and do not rush into sex. It's not easy for a person who just born, no. It is not easy. Apart from you having prolactin issue, a lot of things can dis disrupt your hormone, which include, you know, picking the cry in the night. You try to give her food. You try to do this, adding a newborn baby to your normal life. Some people, it's really, really hard. That's what they call postpartum depression. It's real. It's not a joke. When I see a lot of African, uh, African young girls who they do some kind of things, I feel like, how I wish they know what is wrong with them. When one girl, maybe he give birth and he do something to the picking, we feel like, ah, she's a witch. She's a witch. She's this. She no, she's not. Postpartum depression is mental. As it's mental, it affects you, your entire, entire body. It affects you. It takes the grace of God for somebody to go through it. Especially people who don't have help. It takes the grace of God for them to overcome it. You see that when I say, Mama come for a mugwa. Mama come for a mugwa. Not because to help us. Not because to help the women. Not because they won't just come sit down and look at the king. Now for you to get your own rest. Let me, let, let me tell you one thing. Like, I'll, I'll, give, I'll use myself as an example. Let me tell you guys one thing. You see, when I gave birth to my first daughter, my first child, she was my first. I've never been pregnant. I gave birth to her and something happened. The minute, the day I gave birth, after one week I was discharged and then I went home. My mom was not there yet. And, <laughs> oh God, I slept off. You know, when you did breastfeed picking, you lie down near him. I can't sleep off. Sleep when I sleep. Picking, they cry. I'm not here. Not because anything or maybe because I use any medicine. No. Because your body system became tired. My body tired when they say, picking the shaft like this, I know you're to my husband. Because ah, which can sleep? You they sleep. Picking the cry, you know they hear. It's not the woman's fault. It's not. A lot of women, their husband go pan and beat them for her. Say, ah, which kind of person you be? You know, be woman. You know, be do this. I see a lot of celebrities say for their day that before you know. Maybe they were very lovely couples before they got pregnant. They were very happy. They were sharing on Instagram or Facebook. Or they had to say, this one, nah, 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 nah. this one, they're not going to ever leave each other. But the minute the woman born finish, you go hear say, I am single. And people think to say, the woman is useless. Or maybe the man, they cheat. No. Even a woman can take a drastic decision the minute she gives birth. When she is under depression, she can make any form of decision. She very regret them later when she when she don't when, when the thing don't calm down though. because postpartum depression it takes over two years to get out of your system. If you did breastfeed, say you did breastfeed because like me I did breastfeed just three years. If you breastfeed for that long, the thing will stay in your body for long. Because postpartum depression starts the minute your prolactin starts. A lot of people where busy they know they, they never even get belly, they never born, they never breastfeed. If you don't go hormone profile and they tell you you have prolactin issue, you tend to notice one thing. You start thinking, you start getting depressed. You not go feel the chop way. Anything where they tell you, you go be like say the world is against you. You feel those things. Why? Because pro prolactin, the minute it goes up or it goes extremely low, it puts something into your body. 
it, it will affect your brain. A lot of women, when they treat polatin, when they, they go, your doctor will tell you, come and do MRI. Why? To check your brain. Because this thing, they affect head. Now, in between, they tell now every time, say, hormone. Your hormone in your body gives signals to your head, to your toe. Your hormone in your body. Now, they tell your egg, say, release, oh, release. It's time to release. Menstruation not finish. Release. Your hormone in your body. Now, they tell your menstruation, say, it is time for you to come out. It is so, so day of the month. You have to come outside. So if you if you if you if you be passed away, be say you just born and you're not getting that sexual urge, or maybe they try to find begin. No, be your fault. No, blame yourself. It's not your fault. Men making that they understand. Men not even they understand. Men are not making it so funny for women. They think we are how to call them. We be super women. So men, not all, because some men are really, 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 really lovely. There are some husbands that will follow you to the pit of hell. They are there for you. But some, they even add the pressure to the waiting the woman gets already. The woman not open like for you, you will shout. Eh, what did they do you? What did they do you? Eh, I know they feed you. I know they do this. Now I'll let you. So women, their house, they, they receive panic beating. Their husband go punch them. When they punch their feet, they go sit there like, oh, yeah, open leg. Depression is real, guys. It's real. It's not funny. I know in Africa, it's not something that people hear. Because when you go to hospital, I tell you, there is nothing like that. Nothing like that. They happen. Go and relax. You are just overreacting. Just tell you, you overreact. Or your mama go tell you, say, go drink this concussion. Go sit down for hot water. Boil your, your, your clitoris. Because you go make and do this. It doesn't work like that. It takes time for your body to get itself. And if you want to make it faster, balance your hormone. Eat right. Start eating more fruit and vegetables. Because the estrogen level that makes your clitoris or your vagina become sweet or wet, now part of your hormone. Eat that fruit and vegetable. Let it be your main food every day by day. Do not go a day without eating it. Do not go a day without taking fruit. Some, some women all get worse. I, I watch our African women, I'm like, what did happen? What is going on? Why? Why is this thing getting worse? Because we don't eat right. That's just the plain truth. Not because we don't have these vegetables and all this in our place. Because we don't eat right. We know they chop with we supposed to chop. A lot of us go born, finish. Instead of us to start eating healthy, the next thing you do, eh, I need to breastfeed though. Eh, make a chop this one, make a chop that one. See, I'll tell you something. If you breastfeed and you chop everything, you know they feel like now. The minute you stop that breastfeeding, and then you go see that excess weight. You go blind, see they pump you. Because those things go relax for your body. Another thing you can do, something you can do that can help if you're feeling this kind of thing, you know. As much as we go tell women may they wait, some men are impatient. Some men are very, very impatient. They know they're here. They don't want to wait. If you're a woman and you are in this position, what are the things that you have to do to help you? What is what the thing where you need to do? See, I tell you, one thing where you need to do, now go get lubricant. Yes, you might not feel it. See, matter is, sex no the day enjoyable. If that place is dry, if it be like Gary, you can never enjoy it. If that place is so hard, now pain you go to feel. And that is why you need to use the lubricant. Insert it in your body before you meet your man. It would help you a lot. Using lubricant would help you. Don't say, I, I, why, I never would do. Why are they use this thing? When I talk about lubricants, making I not use Vaseline, no. Because I know a lot of women will go and get Vaseline, or the men go say, I'll be bring that Vaseline, I'll put them. No, 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 no. That kind of thing will regulate your vagina pH. It's not something you should do. It's not something you should use. Do not use Vaseline when you're meeting your husband. Or Ori, because I know some people, they like to use Ori. No, use them. 
Your vagina, your penis is very, very delicate. You see, as your eye, they delicate. Now, so down there, self, they delicate. As if, as you do, watch your eyes. Yeah. Now, this eye, I think they see you because some people want one point for the eye, they tell you. Now, blame my eye, you're not to pass my mates. As your eye is delicate, so as down there. Anything you do, anything you put, no say it will affect them. The vagina does not need anything more than a lubricant. Even to wash that vagina, self, eh? And they tell women, do not put your finger inside. Because a woman is not supposed to put her finger inside the vagina to wash. Your fingers contain dirty. A lot of people don't cut their nails because they feel that they fix a uh, uh, what's it called? Like extension. You know this extension nails. You go fix and finish. You still carry your hand. Go put inside. Say so you they wash. You will carry that same extension and put it inside your vagina. See, my thing I want in there. Eh? My thing I want in that extension where you they put inside. There are so many things that can cause so many things. Now it become problem. One. Who is it? What? All right. So many things can cause it, can, can become a problem. One, you feel get injury inside. Injury, inflammation, which can cause you endometriosis. Endometriosis is what so? Is worse than anything you can ever think of. Or, if you don't get endometriosis, you go get uterine adhesion, which is even also bad. Because some people, where they get uterine adhesion, even if you go for, for operation, because I'll tell you, a lot of people, you need operation, depending on how the adhesion is. Even if you go for operation, the thing not go work. Stop putting your finger inside your vagina. Doctor self, when you they go check, when you go doctor office, you go say, the doctor go wear hand gloves. He go put hand glove for hand before he go say he want his sat finger inside. Why? Because one, they don't want to injure you. Two, they don't want to give you infection. Your nails contain infection though. People where they keep long nails, especially those also they do see, it they contain infection. If you like, you go, you say, I wash my hand before I put my thing. You inside the nails, you wash them. You know what in the inside. A little kind of infection like this enter your body. It go crawl, go inside. It go crawl inside. Somebody, they say, hey, what about saliva? Saliva too is not good. I wouldn't advise you to put saliva. Because saliva, I said, they dry. Some people go say, spit, spit, you know. <laughs> Lord have mercy. You know, some men go tell their wife. Spit on top, spit on top, eh? Make it for wet, spit on top. Even when you spit on top, when you chuck them inside, does it change anything? So men don't clean their mouth, let's be right. Even women don't clean their mouth. Some, they don't brush three times a day. You can have infection in your mouth called thyroid. Yes, you feel getta. Spitting on your vagina would not help you. That is not right. Go pharmacy. May you tell them, say, you want a lubricant. Even, see, even coconut oil yourself. Coconut oil. Except you do that coconut oil by yourself for inside house. Not to say the one way that they sell for outside, they okay. Because some of those coconut oil, you know, market people now, they go all mix them. You know, with things. So I'll mix them with, oh, they go tell you now coconut oil. When you smell like, yes, they smell coconut oil. But is it original? If you want to use coconut oil, do it in your house. It's easy. Do it. That's fine. But if you cannot do it, say you know Sabi Dua, go and get a lubricant. Go and get a lubricant. If you can either see a small size or you can see a big one. Depending. But this lubricant would actually help you. Because matter you want in. When a woman won't enjoy sex, eh? When a woman, I know I'm not supposed to use this, uh, di go this deep, but I won't go inside. Smart, they try to escape that side since. <laughs> because everybody says that joy is spoiled. Mm -mm, I not spoiled. And they try to escape that side, but make her go inside. Just smart, we just branch the streets, then come outside. You see, a woman, before she go enjoy sex, before she go enjoy meeting a man, which means 
no bole she go in germ because if a woman wet, even the man go in germ. You know, the penis go in like straight. You understand? Know okay, I don't know why I don't carry that thing. No, I be saying I won't carry that thing. I take tissue or something. Okay, I get I'm here. Ah, they come. Okay, make I use this balloon. In fact, now my children balloon, but I go use that. I want to do some explanation here. <laughs> it is well. Now, you see, one thing about women having, like I talked before, say women way born. You see, if your vagina is like this before, you know, a lot of women, a lot of women, before they give birth, their vagina is tight like this. Okay? Your men go say, Kai, my wife tight, die. Kai, I never see a woman like that. Yes, it happens. Your vagina get tight like this, but the minute you give birth, see what I tell you. Even if they tell you, say, eh, there is something that you use in washing your vagina that makes it tight. If you are not lying, nothing they like that. The minute you give birth, if you don't put your hormones into place, the vagina remain like this. And that's why I tell you that if you give birth uh, normal uh, vagina, all right, normal vagina birth, let's say this is a clitoris cut like this and this is a normal vagina, all right? Some people, because of said they became big, they go open the clitoris like this. Now, let me not lie to you. That thing does not close back. It remains the same. It always remains the same. Now, lie better you say, eh, we just cut and smooth, just give a little cut to close back. You know, they close anything. Now, the minute it opens like this, it remains like that. Lots of people, when they are all door open like this, before you know, maybe that water, they come outside. Because there's nothing to close it to help them hold that thing. It's always open. It's normal for the fluid to always pour out. You feel as if you pee on yourself. Now, by the time you have a, a dry vagina, and your vagina is like this, if the man try to put anything out, so it goes stuck. This is how it's stuck. It gets stuck. And the minute it gets stuck, say so the man, they push him in. You go get tear or injury. Even if your vagina, they open, you get scar. For your mind, you just say, penis no get razor, you know if he cuts me. Penis no get uh, uh, injury, you know if he injure me. Now lie. Remember, say, every time when they enter, there is always a pressure going in. There is always a pressure going in. That's why it becomes tight. When you use that lubricant, even if, say, the woman not put her for her own, say, now only the penis the man put her. If you put the lubricant, it goes straight. It will go straight without anything holding it. Without nothing blocking it. Men, if you not say you want to meet your wife 24-7, go and get her a lubricant. Because now while the teacher are not seeing women, some women go wrong, go pharmacy, now go buy the lubricant. Meanwhile, their men, their house, their husbands, their house doing nothing. Go and get your wife a lubricant. It's important for you to use it. See, matter tell you one thing, eh? Make I tell you one thing. Women will be say. How would they put it? I won't put her making her making her understand well. Women will be say they don't burn. Maybe one, two. You don't burn before. Alright. And you're trying to get pregnant. And then they tell you, oh, your 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 uterus has something blocking it. Or maybe your womb shifts down. Or maybe a uh, fibroid they go for your body. Alright. Tell you one thing. You having this kind of problem and not sorting it out can make all those things start coming in your body. Especially fibroid. You know why some women go get fibroid after the bone finish? They don't balance their estrogen. And the thing I want in, estrogen dominance is the thing that makes your fibroid and your, your ovarian cyst grow. The estrogen where they your body, now they make them, they grow. I see a lot of women always say, I'm looking for something to shrink fiber. I'm looking for something to shrink fiber. But you know, balance that hormone. Even if you don't burn one, one before. Even if you don't burn one. You know, balance them. The estrogen, the estrogen dominance can make fiber start to grow. Fiber is a tumor. Know that. Fiber is a tumor. All right. Now somebody they asked me a question. Brassike, <laughs> he said, what about small penis? 
Now, I'll tell you one thing. It really doesn't matter the size of the penis. Are they telling that? See, it really doesn't matter the size of a man's penis. All right? For a woman to have injury or painful sex, even if the man's penis is like Mickey Tiny like this, even if he like Mickey Tiny like this, when a woman knows their mood, nothing, nothing go, nothing go make her have that, you know, when you're having sex with your husband, you feel that that kind of feeling as if you are you are in another planet. Some people, eh, it could be like say, Kai, something comes in their body, like say they pour them water. The minute the sex is through, you feel them smiling like this, they're gonna laugh. Now, now what's your mama to the cash for what's in days with us? When small girl don't go, don't go knock a makako for us, I think you come back. Why are you smiling? Nothing, mama. Now, because you know, he, she enjoyed it, right? She she really had fun. Now, that's it. I tell the cash, I don't say, don't go do something for her side. That's how a woman feel. But the minute you finish doing that stuff, and then instead of you to work out, you don't you de open like the tear like this. It's because you are not in the mood. You're not doing in that mood to do that thing. You see, I mean, that's where women go, where they'll say, rape a woman is raped because she's not in the mood even if you don't marry a woman with a force do the thing where she's not there in the mood comes so men they will be saying force their wife even if she's not there in the mood you say <laughs> eh you know what do i have you come here joe i don't pay bright price on your head i don't i don't i don't pay bright price for your head come look do one if you're not in the mood my sister a lot of things they happen no a lot of things they happen no make a teaching i want thing. i want to explain something to you guys so you understand when you're not in the mood and you have injury, hmm? your uterus, not like this, they do. You see that injury, if you're not going to use anything, you don't use anything, take your arm. You see inside your womb, that injury will come from within your spider webs, like this. Like this. Forming spider web inside. You see that place where you say, you're supposed to pass ovulation with that cervical mucus, supposed to come outside, with that menstruation, supposed to come outside. Everywhere will come block. Causing you to have uterine adhesion. Another uterine adhesion I explained to you now. Causing you to have uterine adhesion. So men, please, do not force your wife into sex. A lot of women think there is something wrong with them. Or maybe they go to say, now village, therefore they do me. Uh, because I marry. And somebody from my family, not like me. Somebody from my this, they winch me. Sometimes I'll be winch you. When you go there, they are covering. J -j 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 -j. We're going to mention them to know where we did. Sometimes it is not witchcraft. Let's be frank and real with ourselves. You they run from one church to another. They run from one pastor to another. My uncle in the village was angry with me because I am getting married. Or because I got married to such a person. Sometimes it's not witchcraft. Now you use your own hand to damage yourself. Because if you don't balance your hormone after and you try to find Pekin, it will not go come. It will not come. You're not balancing your hormone. A lot of people after giving birth, their breast is still bringing milk. If they press their breast like this, water will still come outside. Even when they don't breastfeed finish you. When the Pekin don't stop breastfeeding two, two years ago. Or even ten years ago. You had your first child ten years ago. And your breast is still bringing water. And you are trying to get pregnant. It wouldn't work. You need to put your hormone in place. Now somebody they asked me, what are the things to balance your hormone? It's very simple. You see? Hormones. No be about taking synthetic medicine. Hormones no be about taking synthetic injection. Because the minute you use those medicine and those injections, your body will be fine. Your body would be fine. The minute you stop, the thing comes back to the way it is before. For you to have a perfect hormone, you need to eat 15 different portions of fruit and vegetables per day. Matter you, you know, is it a chop? Oh? Even me, while they tell myself, I know they feel a chopper complete. Let me make me take juice plus because I know within myself that I cannot eat it. A goat self, goat will like live, no go feed chopper. They wouldn't be able to eat that 15 portions of fruits and vegetables per day. But that's just the truth. That's what your body needs. That is what your body needs. 
If you don't eat those 15 portions of fruit and vegetables per day, you they learn. You are a learner. If you say, I am eating fruits and vegetables, oh, eh, I am eating this, and eh, today I will eat apple, eh, in the evening I will eat eh, berries. You know, they day enough. If you think your hormone balance within three months, you went to eat that 15 portions. If it takes you one year for that thing to balance. You do. Take one year to balance that hormone. Who be this way? They, where they, let me see. Who is putting their juju this thing? Please, oh, whoever is advertising, get the hell out of my page. All right? This page is not your juju page. Get the hell out. Please, move. Make I see people questions, better people questions where you need help. Please, get out of my page. All right? I know they advertise juju. Take yourself away. Quickly, Holy Ghost fire. Now, let me tell you something. All right, make a tell you If you they eat one, one fruit, it's not enough. It can take you one year for that hormones to come to place. But you taking something to help you substitute it. You know, say me, me myself, where are the teaching now? I always, always take my fruits and vegetables capsules. I don't joke with it, even if I'm not ready to give breath again. What did a key human being know they plant you? Now smoking like this. Smoking. Women making a balance in our hormone. These days for social media, you go every corner, there are women just dying, 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 dying. Dying out of things that are not even worth it. Just because they put their ear for corner, say they don't want, they don't want to, or maybe they don't tire. You know, I know a lot of women get tired, especially if you don't go to the right place whereby they go help you. If you not got me, the better doctor will go help you. You feel tired because of too much money they spend. You can get tired. But let me tell you something. You know, before I go forward, I want to use this, this, uh, this example. I, I was on, on Instagram the other day and I saw this, this woman, all right, that uh, she died out of a cardiac arrest. And I was also reading through this uh, profile, the... The thing they post and they were like she has done 12 ivf and i'm like oh my god you see see ladies matter now not because of say you be african woman then you could just leave yourself like that before something like that they happen one the person bmi is high your bmi go high your blood pressure go follow up your blood pressure go high before you know it will imbalance your hormone what did they keep a scene not they reach anything what did they kill human being as smarting? The thing who would they put from our mouth now they kill us or either, or either save us. The things you eat daily would either kill you or keep you alive and healthy for, the, for a long time. Balance your hormone. If you know they eat fruit and vegetable, start eating it. If you replace the way you now only carbohydrate, rice, 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 swallow, rice, swallow, rice, swallow, rice. Switch your diet. It is easy to switch. Nobody tell you say you cut off eating your food, but to switch it in a, in another scenario, which is if you eat rice, maybe you like rice, you like a, a rice away. Switch it to brown rice. There's even brown rice. Our local rice now brown rice. Our people they forget even our local things they go buy China. Uh, this one come from America. This one come from here. Do you know our local rice is even better than that that other kind of synthetic rice that we eat? Yes, stone feed it inside. You got to pick up. But it's more healthy. You like eba? Switch them to cabbage swallow. You know, if you go to my video, you see when I teach cabbage swallow. Or you can use any kind of vegetable. Switch them. May you help your vagina. Help your vagina and your hormones. You know they eat fresh tomato. I know a lot of people don't eat fresh tomato. But it's more healthier than you eating uh, uh, that boiled one. The one where you take fries to. Because all the things, all the nutrients, all the things, I don't do it, I don't die. If you want chopped tomato, you want enjoy it, eat it fresh with salad. 
Now, dear, you will get that nutrient. Do you know that tomato seed contain omega 3, 6, and 9? You know that one? Tomato, that seed where they chop, where they inside that tomato, it gets omega for body. How many of us know? Do you know cabbage? It contains folic acid. That folic acid where they go buy for pharmacy. It is inside your food for goodness sake, we men. Spinach, chunko, it is inside. If you don't see spinach, there's even our African kind of spinach. You don't need to come to Europe or they go abroad, they go buy all this food. A lot of people go tell me, say, Madam, all this kind of food are not in Nigeria. Now nah, lie. Now, nah, because you they carry your face, they work out out. You know, women, the minute they enter husband house, they try to find the delicacy of the husband and then they stick to that. Excuse me. I'm busy. Okay, no, leave, 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 leave. You guys can go. I'm not vest. I get my children for outside. I have to send them outside to play. Please help me close the door, guys. No, we're burning. Ciao, tesoro. Apaco. I know, guys, I get children here. In fact, it is well. Are you evil, huh? Okay. <laughs> oh, it's okay. <sighs> okay. Then I love this. Mm. Now, as I'm saying, you see, your spinach. It also contains fol uh, folate. And even spinach, they help with that vagina of a woman. Remember, your vagina, for it to be its normal position, for until they get that stretchy thing or that white juicy thing where they come outside, remember your vagina pH has to be alkaline. Which means there are some food you got to be eating too. Your vagina pH has to be alkaline. The minute it becomes acidic, a problem. It's a big problem. All right, eat fruit and vegetables. I don't mention tomato, spinach, cabbage, even carrot. Carrot is very good. Garlic, garlic, that one, they help you fight inflammation. Garlic helps you fight inflammation. Inflammation in the sense that pains. You know, some women, they get pains even before their menstruation. You don't go to the test. You're just fine. There is nothing wrong with you. But you still get that pains. Some women get pains after their menstruation for days. You know, at the time I say, it's normal for you to get uh, ovulation pain. But ovulation pain has some hours. So. Not be one week. Not be two weeks. Not be three days. Eating garlic would help you. Garlic also fights infection. Not that. If you pass away, say you continue to get continual infection. Insert garlic into your cooking. They insert them into your co cooking. Another thing where you want to eat, where they very, very important, as in you have to be eating this daily basis. Who be this? You have to be eating this one on daily basis. And that is salmon fish. What happened? If you be the person where they get hormone problem, you have to switch yourself from eating beef, 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 beef. If you know if you eat salmon fish, eat chicken. If you want to eat chicken, not eat chicken lap because chicken lap is very fatty. Eat the breast. The breast at that place where be say bone no day. You know, if you cut, uh, if you buy full chicken, when they want cut, they'll first cut one lap come out, they'll cut the other lap come out, they'll cut the wings, they'll cut the neck, and then you go see one place where be say for dear, now nah, dear meat today. Some people know they like chop, and I say they, they say no get meat for me to chop. I notice our African sisters and brother, they like either the lap or the wings. <laughs> 
either the lap of the chicken or the wings. The breast, they don't, they don't even they watch them. But do you know that breast contains your natural protein? For women who are suffering from fibroid and ovarian cysts, that is what you should be eating. The breast of the chicken, not the, the lap or the wings. Because those ones, they're very fatty. Now, all year in fat. If you cannot eat salmon fish, eat chicken. Chicken breast. It's very good. It will help you. Another thing you should be adding to your diet. You see, this diet is what they talk about. Now, for both women, we don't burn and the one we never burn, no. It's very important for everybody. You should really eat this because everybody has vagina. Every woman has a vagina and you want to take care of your vagina. All right. Another thing you should be eating, which is very, very good. No, no, bless. I want to make sure see my children come up for this. That's why I talk about this, this kind of talk. Are you done? Are you done? All right. Another thing you should be eating is taking yogurt. You say, what? The kind of yogurt you go take, not just ordinary yogurt, Greek yogurt, that unsweetened yogurt. Because I know a lot of people say, I eat yogurt, but the kind of yogurt you they eat, now that type where be say strawberry, vanilla, no. You need unsweetened yogurt. Yogurt is, it helps fertility and also helps vagina. You see your vagina, women maybe say, they don't get infection, no. But that whitish thing, whitish thing, they come out from their body. He's not smelling. It's not ovulation, but it's just white. You taking Greek yogurt would help you. Greek yogurt would help you. It helps put the vagina into place. All right? So, the final thing you should be doing every day is water. Making a day drink water with many. Eh? Making a day drink water. Water is very, very important for the health. Water flushes a lot of things. Water cleans your system. If you're the type having ut uh, urinary tract infection, which is UTI, you have to continue drinking water. Why some women, they get that continual problem of uh, urinary tract infection. Why? Because they don't have enough fluid in their system. The only fluid they get, now take half of, a, half of Coke or one liter of coke during the day they'll come mix some two bottles of malt then they'll come add a, one small stout before they'll come drink two cup of water that isn't the fluid you need you need water to cleanse your system guys please go and play now you need water not they use things they substitute yourself and that's what I, I, I drink water i drink See, I tell you, if you want to know that you don't drink water, take two full bottles. This kind of bottle of water, two of them, put them on the table. Make they drink from it. Drink from it throughout the day, and then you notice that you don't even drink half of it. You know they drink half. All right? Now... Having said that, what about the men? Now, men, I'm not supposed to go far about men because this one is about women mostly. But for men, okay, what do you take to help you put your pin? You know, um, what? Not now. Go, please. I'm busy. Later. All right. I don't like doing this kind of topic where my kids are, so I always send them to play outside. I know. I never. My kids are so small to start giving this kind of explanation. I <laughs> know. All right. Now, for men. It's not only women that have vagina pH, even men, it happens to them. So men feel they get a rash for around their penis, just the head, the head of the dick, you'll see this redness inside. You'll go semen analysis, they'll tell you there is nothing wrong. You go infection test, they tell you there is nothing wrong. One of the things you should be doing, all right, for men is don't wear a tight boxer. Men, boys, so they say, are they package? And the package, make a package up. Do not wear tight boxers. Because tight boxers will give you heat. And the minute you start having irritation around your penis, it's going to even turn to infection. Allow the penis to get loose. Free them. Free the penis. See, men, when they find male children, this kind of thing, you got to be doing more. You need to do them. 
If you not say you want me, your wife born man picking for you because uh, a lot of men go say now nah, the woman they produce man picking. I lie you. Nah, you the man. Now nah, they drop the man picking. Your wife always release X chromosome. It is you the man that either release X or Y. So if you want to give your wife a Y chromosome to help you to give you a male child, stop wearing a tight boxer. Stop wearing that panties. I know say some men they wear pants. Some men they wear pants. No 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 no. There are free boxers out there. Those ones will be saying, where are they free? Wear them. Allow the thing, Jolomi. Uh, so that the sperm will feel built well. Another thing you want to do as a man to keep your penis health is make sure you don't keep your morning breakfast. Do not keep morning breakfast, men. It's important for your body. It's important for your health. A lot of men don't eat, eat in the morning. What did they go take in the morning a coffee and they are off to work? In the afternoon, you go go, you, maybe your wife not go even cook for you, or just see anything for you, you go sit by, you go chop. In the evening, you go come back, you go base on carbohydrates. It's not helping you. Women, if you not say your husband, they house with you. In the morning when you wake up, do and breakfast. If you know if you do and breakfast, go and get protein powder. Protein powder, it's... It, in there everywhere, for goodness sake, get protein powder, blend and smoothie. Now, since we go fit carry, put for hand, they walk go walk. You don't need to sit down for table, they follow you, they chop them. Because I know some men have some busy kind of schedule. They have to wake up six o'clock in the morning and before they will come back again at night. Take the smoothie, take the smoothie in the morning to help you boost even your sperm. Because some way they make men, they get low sperm counts. You know, no waiting. That early morning breakfast, whether they skip. Some men don't drink. Some men don't smoke. Some men don't club. But at the same time, they get low sperm counts. They get low sperm counts. Maybe you don't even treat the low sperm counts. They'll, they'll give you medicine for hospital. Say, take, go and use this. You go to use and you go to use and still no changes. Still nothing is happening. Still nothing is happening after using all the most expensive medicine. Why? Because you're skipping that thing. That little something what you're supposed to do in the morning. That tiny thing. That morning breakfast what you're supposed to take in the morning. That morning breakfast would help you keep your semen alive. Oh. It would definitely help you. Come here, city. Ah, okay. Ah, all right. Ciao! You want to say hello? It's been long. Say hello! Hi! <laughs> it's been long since... Go, go and clean up. Okay? So, do not keep morning breakfast. And also, make sure you add that fruit and vegetable in your diet. If your wife cook them for you, eat them. Some men don't go eat them. They go say, what is this? Eh? Have you chicken? Have you this? I look like a bro. Eh, you know all these small, small things where women, they try to they help men with they, it, Before you know, it will cause quarrel. Before you know, the man don't provoke. But now the woman, they try to help you. Your wife giving you fruit and vegetables would help boost your spam. Eat at me. Alright? So, I hope this little thing I've been able to talk about has been... You know, you don't tell you now one or two things. Say, something is not right. So, something is not working well. If I'm not feeling that urge to have sex with my husband after bed, it's not my fault. There is something called postpartum depression that affects my sexual life. Okay? I want to create a place for questions. Let's see if we have any questions. Papi, come. Before I jump off, I got to go cook too. And I need to answer some people. I have some people I have to call. All right? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, mm. okay. Sis, what's the cause, what causes pain on the left side of the abdomen, especially when my period is approaching? Now, if you're feeling pain on the left side of your abdomen when your period is approaching, I would advise you to go and do an HSG test, okay? It can be that you have tube blockage, because if it's not that tube, now they release this thing. So go and do an HSG test. Okay, um, 
Please, my, I don't know why I feel burning pain in my lower left side during my period, but it's not like that. It started after childbirth. You need to go and balance your hormone. It's the same thing I tell you guys. You see, after you don't burn, don't expect your body to be the same thing. It's not. Your body can never remain the same. You do something you don't burn, eh? I still go back to my CCO. You know, some people go feel like, say, eh, I don't burn. I don't go breastfeed because I don't want my hormone be become imbalanced. Now lie. Your hormones go still become imbalanced anyway. You breastfeed, you know breastfeed though. It will still become imbalanced. That's why you need to balance your hormone. All right. Now let's see. Um... Oh. Okay. Now, uh, let's see this question. Mama, is it good for man sucking the lady juice? Hmm, I like this question. In fact, I don't even forget I want to throw small light on this part. Oral sex, right? Now, this is what I'll tell you. It depends. Some women are not clean. <laughs> okay, I'm going to talk this matter. Make I know insult both men and women. I don't want to insult anybody because some people say this one you're talking so harsh all right it's not about harsh i don't want to offend both sides but let's do this you see some women when they did their young life they may don't follow different kind of men moku no lie no be one no be two no be three all right some women might not even be cleaning their vagina well so women they will be saying that they wear pants it will stay, 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 three days, four days, giving you infection. And sometimes when this woman gets infection, they might not know on time. Make it, make it understand this thing though. Now, it's not that I'm saying it's wrong, but it also depends on your wife's health. Your wife's, uh, uh, the way she cleans herself. It depends on your man, the way he cleans himself. So men don't wash their penises. And woman go go their feet or go put mouth. You they suck. And later you go say something. Something they pay you for throat. Thyroid problem. You get thyroid problem. If you the, 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 the man. No, no, say the woman get infection. You go pull mouth. Say you they leak. You they leak. You can cash him for mouth. Notice say that thing. When he day inside, you know go come outside. You will definitely catch it. Likewise, a, a, a woman. Sometimes when I see young girls doing it, and then my boyfriend, no, my boyfriend, like, man, we never marry for house. You say your boyfriend. How you tell this person I'll let you he they follow? How you tell this person I'll let you he they meet? Yeah, I just want to satisfy him. I like to do this. And later you come back and say, you have some kind of pain. You have some kind of infection. Say, we could use our common sense. Let's use our sense. Oh, you both people, they do them. But we could not want to say, oh, you both people, they, they clean their cell very well. They like to take care of their body. Many black men, after they don't go work, go that sweating work, go construction. Not that it's bad, all right? It's part of living. Now, waiting they're supposed to do to take care of their family. But after doing those works, some don't shower. They jump on top of bed. And then in the night, and then come what could do now. And you, the woman, you go do it in your kind mouth. You they suck. What are you sucking? What are you sucking? It depends on the health of the man. It's not that it's wrong. It's not wrong. But you got to look the, the first way you're doing it. If the man clean or not. Because this is something going through your mouth we're talking about. Yes, the sperm will go through your mouth not going to make you pregnant. Too. That is just the plain truth. You don't get pregnant like that. But you can get a whole lot of infection. A whole lot. Me and our African brothers and sisters, so I know them. And I know how some people are clean. Yeah, some people are clean. Some uh, African brothers are clean. But most of them are not. Some of them go, yet boxer. Three, three, three days, one week. They'll tell you, now man, style, now nah, guy, man, see, nah, you stupid girl, you carry yourself on, you pull out. Some women go, go outside, come back. They go do their rubbish. Now my, now my babe, bro, I, got to, I, I, got to, I got to satisfy my babe. Now my, now my girlfriend, now, you know now, you yourself all day. You go carry tongue. You the leak. After you don't carry yourself, go outside, go do rubbish, come back, you go pull out. 
thing. Waiting they kill human being. You know they reach anything. Infection, you know, go see her for your eye. You know they show. A woman will get infection self, you know, go know. Until you go put your mouth, maybe say your tongue. Your tongue go start to get white. Or maybe, see, my thing I want in there, you can even get yeast infection in your mouth. Yeast infection, you think get that for your mouth. If you think yeast infection only affects your vagina or your penises, you would lie. You can have yeast infection in your throat. And those ones are even harder to treat than the one with inside your vagina or your penis. Because the one with your vagina or your penis, they will tell you, take antibiotic, drink it, use this cream. But something with your throat. Do you know the pains you pass through? If you're a young girl or a young guy outside, you're never married, couple will never marry, you they do oral sex, I pity you. Because matter you want it. The minute you catch that yeast infection, even that guy will dump you. You know, if you tell you, say, now nah, 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 he give you, he would, he would dump you. Now you're going to suffer with your problem. All right? So I don't advise young girls, young ladies, young men that are not married to do oral sex. A married couple would be able to know, even if the man not they clean, the woman, he could see they, they push him. You know, if a man they have, say, so you know, your husband, if you hear boxers, so tell what's it be this? I better go change and make a wash up. Just because of, say, you, the woman, go fit take care of your husband. And if the husband, go and change that pants, honey. Why are you wearing that pants now? It's been long now. All right? So, do not do it if you're single. If you're married, fine. That's, that's good. All right? Let's see next question. Let's see, Kai, time don't go. I don't even see I go. Um, let's see. <laughs> I cook past my wife. <laughs> it's not my law. Some men's are cook. Oh, hmm. when I not talk, I'm, I know some men who are good in cooking. Okay. Um, <laughs> Let's see if I have, um, thank you for adding value to Nigerian people, not those prostitutes and ex-prostitutes or religious pressure <laughs> of invented religious books, the Bible and Quran by me. The almighty creator lives inside everyone and he talks through everyone. Yeah, that's true. Worship him from your heart alone. That's, that's just truth. Okay. I beg this, this thing, I know, make us see. Let me tell you something, guys. I'm not supposed to say this. It's not part of what I'm supposed to teach, but I'll just tell you something. You see, stop being deceived. Stop being deceived. Let me put it that way. You know, a lot of women go feel say their infertility causes now one pastor go deliver them. <laughs> or one person, one are foul, something go do deliverance upon them, we go make uh, make them get belly. See my tell you, sometimes it can be you. It could be you having fertility issues. If you don't go for a test and you don't check it out, you go dead year, they carry your leg from one church to another. They travel from J Japan to, uh, to Kafanchan. They look for solution. What solution they your shokoto for there? What you they find for Sokoto, it they your shokoto. Go for test. If you know you don't do scan, go and draw the hormone profile. Sometimes if you don't tell these doctors to run your hormone profile, they wouldn't do it. They wouldn't do it. Remember one thing, that they have a lot of clients. If you don't open your mouth, they will not answer you. Run a hormone profile test and see what is wrong with you. Before you go do hormone profile finish, can't do HSG to check your tube. You go find out what the problem is. A lot of people just do scan, HSG, and they think that is all. It is just the beginning. Because your hormones will not show in your, in your scan. Your hormones will not show in your HSG. If you not go during that your menstruation period and 21 days later after your menstruation, they wouldn't see a shit. They're not going to know. That is why you have to run the test. And the minute you run it, balance it. You know, I see those people where they get below up and they always say, Madam, I'm pregnant. After so, so, thank you. God bless you. It's just a little something. 
God know they come from heaven, they come, they come help person. No, it is use person to talk to others. There are some people who are watching me right now. It feels as if you're the one I'm talking to. Yes, you might feel as if you're the one I'm talking to, but the next minute, when the live video finish, boom, they don't go back to their old habits. They don't go back to their old habits. Now, when they when are the teachers, oh, I must change this thing. Oh, I must do this thing. I must. But the minute this live video ends now, that rice, where did they chop before? They'll go back and go chop up. They're ever, now they go go swallow. If they go market, they're not going to remember to even buy fruits and vegetables. All right? So stop being deceived. God is saved. They answer prayer. If you're doing the right thing, it will be as if it's a magic. It will be like something you will like pass. Okay? Now, let's see. Uh, mama, drinking ginger and garlic water during ovulation, can it affect fertility? No, it does not affect fertility. These things are food. Know that it does not affect your, <laughs> your fertility. All right. Uh, let's see. I mean, I have to go and cook. Oh, Jesus. I need to go cook after seven already. Thank God what I'm doing is not so hard. It's something that uh, I have to just heat and I'm done. Um... <laughs> Okay, let's see if I have one or two questions. And if someone breast is bringing out milk after six years of breastfeeding, what can the person use? Go and balance your hormones. Go and balance your hormones. It's the same thing I always tell you guys. You see, now what I just teach finish now. See some women after they don't born six, ten years, their breast they bring water and they still try to get pregnant. <laughs> All right, you need to balance your hormone. You want to balance your hormone, you need fruits and vegetables. Okay, you can even get those capsules I talk about every time. Um, okay. Now, for those... What about woman that don't like sex? No matter how her husband touches her, what will she do? If you don't like sex... <laughs> okay. We could, we could talk that one small make, before I go cook. It's the last question I'm going to take before I cook. All right, this one is just the last one. So sorry for those people that I did not answer their question, but it's not... Um, I'll be... Let's see. I'll find a way to answer some other time. Now, if you don't like sex, like naturally, all right, that will not be vagina dryness. Now, there are so many things that can make you not like sex. <laughs> many things, okay? One, it could be also from your husband. Because a woman wouldn't tell you if she likes the sex or not. If the man no catch that place. That, you know, there's a place that turns every woman on. A woman has a secret spot that turns her on. Just the way a, a man goes there, where you go see the woman, your wife, and she'll say, ah, this one, you know, it turns them on. There are some things that women do that turns them on, okay? But for a woman, there are so, it's not by the man getting naked. Because even if your husband stands naked, you might not turn on. It happens. There are some things the woman, the man has to do. Let me make a turn and say, if you won't meet your, your wife, not just say, hey, you, turn around, open leg. What kind of a sex is that? Make her wet. Do some kind of foul play. Make her turn the bed upside down. Before you could say you they took your teen inside. Because you took your teen inside. Man, I tell you something. Your wife, they try to get belay. You pour your spam. You go bless you pour her for Sansa. If she's not wet and she's not in the mood, that fluid that helps the spam swim. All right, that fluid where they carry the spam, they move. It not go move. The spam feed the deer for her vagina deer. And before you know, she stand up, it's out. That is why a woman needs to get wet. That juice, that wet, now they help the spam. That's what helps the spam to swim. Even if the woman, they try to find male pekino. Now the spam way fast pass. Now they produce male picking. The one way is slow. Now they produce woman picking. If you want to produce a male picking, you got to get that wetness, my sister. If you never wet, you cannot enjoy sex. If you don't wet, you don't enjoy sex. So you cannot. It will be like a force. You know, I, I, have, ne I have never seen... Well, maybe she's the first one, but I have never seen any woman that say, uh, uh, I don't feel like having sex. See, if you know they feel like my sister, if you don't get 
this problem of hormone imbalance what they talk about saying that something where it starts now because you never meet the man who puts you into that mood see so women when their husband have sex with them they come more than once two three times and that is because they enjoy it sex is enjoyable it's not a punishment and it's not a force it's something enjoyable between a man and a woman. And no one thing, if you know the injera, the man self not go injera more. Because if your vagina is tight, the man will be like, say, he just a meat veggie. He they try to break him. So the man too would not enjoy it. And that's why some men wrap their head and say, my wife don't love me anymore. You see, this kind of thing, I they break most homes. This kind of issue destroy many marriages. We, 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 tend, we Africans, we tend to do that old-fashioned way. You know, that old-fashioned style of which say, uh, man, one meet it, right? Oh, yeah, open the wrapper for me. That style. Life don't pass like that, too. Life has... See... Satisfying your wife does not mean you need to go to school on it. You just need to find that spot. And you have a lot of time to figure it out. If you try one place today and it didn't work, you can try another place tomorrow. You have a lot of time to find out. And the minute you find it out, the minute you get that point, your wife's not going to leave you again, no? Your wife is going to enjoy. In fact, she is going to come or uh, uh, how would I put it? Uh, I want to, I won't put them in this word. Wait. <laughs> ah, she's going to release some kind of fluid. You know, some people know you're not know, different. Say a woman come and a woman, they wet. Some people don't know that. That two different. A woman, where you come. You know, when the minute you come, you enjoy sex and you actually release. You have that sticky, slimy thing coming out from your body. That one be said, the woman really come. Now, if your vagina they wet, you see something like water. It will be light, something like fluid, okay? Or like uh, not, it's not slimy. It's like fluid. That one be say, the woman they wet. But the minute you find that spot, you notice that your wife will come. And when she come, you see that sex you don't like? You go be like, say you just see sham. You need to help your wife out. You need to find that spot as a man. All right? Now, I hope I've been able to teach one or two things today. Even if I, I be one go deep, but I don't get time. I got to cook. I get family. <laughs> I get a husband who I need to take care of too and kids. <laughs> I hope I've been able to teach one or two things and you guys have been able to learn, okay? Not one thing that if you've given birth, you just born now, especially our new people are just born, uh, people that got pregnant that um, ending of the year to last, last year. Uh, last year, some of them got pregnant. And they are feeling like, ah, the thing is not coming. Know that it's not your fault, okay? It's just your hormones, all right now um i'll be calling it a day please 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 for those people who just joined don't forget to click on the follow button and also please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel okay it's very important i will be moving there soon i do go there to do live videos also so please don't forget to subscribe and if you want a private uh follow up because i know some people will call me hey, madam i need to speak to you you got to pay for consultation fee now one time now five thousand and it's payment before consulting i know we can like this so but they say now human be the teach person lesson and uh, when they go call me madam i will pay i will pay just talk to me talk to the thing you know go hear from them again consultation you know go pay you go sit there waiting they won't use coming back they're not going to come back so if you want to talk to me you got to pay your consultation fee before you talk and it's just a one-time payment okay it not even cost five thousand naira only and some people still argue on top of five thousand naira but then why are you collecting money why not go collect money i get my work i get children i get everything you want my attention for 30 minutes 40 minutes one hour i got you got to pay for it <laughs> okay now hope i've been able to teach one or two things and uh if you also want to uh consult me you can send me a message on my number i'm just going to paste it on the wall uh plus three nine three two seven three one one six nine nine four plus three nine three two seven three one one six nine nine four all right just one for you just subscribe
Uh, oh boy, no, not this one. Okay. All right. Now, um, please, oh, uh, Oga, Biko, I beg in the name of God. My page is not for politics. Hmm? This is a fertility page. Let's just be respectful of person page. I don't do politics. All right, no politician, they support me, so I don't see any reason why I have to wish anybody a uh, happy birthday. I know I'm before. Wait to consign me. Please, I don't do politics. I don't know any politician. So please, I am not wishing anybody any birthday and no politics thing on my page or I'll have to block you. Please. All right? Let's just be very, very... Okay. Not just small things. Small thing like this, oh. I don't take time for our people with that. This is just a private group for people who are trying to get pregnant. Uh, if a politician wants uh, uh, praises, make it go help people. Make it go help Nigerian people. All right? Make it go help people of his state so they go feel praise them. I'm not praising anybody here. Okay? So thank you so, so much, everybody, for, uh, for joining in today's teaching. Please, don't forget to eat your vegetables. And also, don't forget, if you are the type that has not gotten your juice plus, go and get it. It's something that you would need. You need them every day. You got to use it. 15 different portions of fruits and vegetables per day and berries. It's something that you can never eat. Even if you eat it, your pockets go tell you. It go tell you. You will not say yes, something to touch you. Okay? So thank you so much, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Hear my music. I can play my music. There go. Mm. Hey, wait. Yeah, my music. Don't go. Nico, I want to play my music to, to wish everybody bye-bye. Eh? Okay. Uh, now, wow, all this kind of, yeah, 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 fun safe. Hmm. Monday, we have a, a teaching, but it's going to be on YouTube. So please subscribe to the channel so you can get notification. All right, make me one of them. A good night of the loving. Hmm? Hey, look at Sandra dance. Wait till you don't do my naughty, naughty talk anymore. Okay. My goodness of the Lord, they turn me around, make me wanna dance. Even when I know I'm dance, my body go dead. Mm -hmm. eh? All right, goodbye, everybody. Let's.